they get this wonderful ability to speak with other tongues is but they don't understand that in that gift are all the other gifts if you just open it up you have to begin unpacking it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If it's not your first time here and these messages are a blessing to you, consider becoming a partner with us. Now, I've been wanting to preach on this for quite some time. A lot of people have covered it, but I'm going to cover it a little bit differently. As you know, we do here. The benefits of praying in other tongues or the benefits of speaking in other tongues are there any benefits there's huge enormous amounts of benefits Jude chapter 1 and then we're gonna read verse 20 but don't read it yet let's pray Holy Ghost to worship you I thank you that you are God in the earth today I give you all the glory and praise and credit we worship you we serve you and we fulfill your plan in the earth and I thank you for all these people that you've brought to come with us into this place of the Spirit for this last day we worship you in Jesus name Amen Jude verse 19 these be they who separate themselves sensual having not the Spirit so he's talking about people that have not the Spirit but he's going to go on to talk about people who have the Spirit so there are those who have not and those who have it's pretty simple right verse 20 but ye beloved meaning you have the Spirit you have received the Spirit you beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost well as we saw right there uh, some can't go here to verse 20 because they have not the Holy Ghost and we know it's basic fundamental doctrine in most places that you know you, when you receive the Holy Ghost you begin to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gives you utterance so speaking in other tongues is the evidence of receiving the Holy Ghost that isn't too difficult to understand we're gonna have to take a lot of things as if you understand them already so we can keep progressing here you beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost well some can't go here because their doctrine disallows it they can't pray effectively in other tongues or in the Holy Ghost because their doctrine won't let them go there then we have this whole other group of people who do go there they do pray in other tongues but they've really received the Holy Ghost as as an additive we have salvation we do all this stuff and then we just add some Holy Ghost and that's really all they've done when they've received the Holy Ghost and began speaking with tongues they tongues they keep it in that Holy Ghost additive dimension so to speak so they can't go where we're going which is to worship the Holy Ghost as God most can't go here but we're gonna go here we kind of believe things a little bit differently it's not unscriptural but it's different say it's different it's different than a lot of other people are willing to believe or are willing to go to go to John chapter 6 these are the words of Jesus in fact it says John chapter 6 verse 29 Jesus answered and said unto them this is the work of God that you believe on him whom he has sent now of course in this dispensation when Jesus was talking right here Jesus was on the earth talking to his disciples saying this is the work of God that you believe on him whom God has sent well that would have been Jesus at that time but it also applies to our day this is the work of God that you believe on him whom he has sent well Jesus went and is seated at the right hand of the Father and he sent the Holy Ghost into the earth 
so the work of God in our day is accomplished by believing on him the Holy Ghost whom he has sent does this make sense and we're able to go much farther when we believe that and our doctrine allows us to go here than if we just stayed back in those other places so in that day it was Jesus in our day it's believing on the Holy Ghost why because he's God he's the one in the earth he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and our doctrine goes here the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today I'm in the earth today you're in the earth today the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and so if I'm gonna walk with God and I'm in the earth I'm gonna be walking with Jesus no I'm gonna be walking with the one that Jesus sent I'm gonna be walking with the Holy Ghost and one of the number one ways of walking with the Holy Ghost is by speaking in agreement with his word our tongues words we're gonna answer some very basic questions here so that you can get straight the benefits that come along with speaking in other tongues are the tongues you're speaking words well yes they are words well excellent then we we've already crossed that bridge they're words you're not just mumbling things you're mumbling words you're speaking as he gives you utterance therefore you're speaking words so this message is going to build your faith in those words you're gonna have more understanding about what's going on when I speak those words and and all of the benefits that come from speaking see I'm talking about the benefits of speaking in tongues I need to qualify what those tongues are and what those tongues are doing so that we'll have faith in what is happening there well number one you're speaking words brother this is too simple okay we'll keep going on so if tongues are words and we've already answered that they are a lot of what we're going to next depends on what you believe say what I believe about the power of words Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear so through our faith our faith that allows this you understand because some people won't go here our faith that allows this we understand that the worlds which would include the one you're in everything you have your physical body everything that the worlds were framed by the Word of God so they were completely made out of the Word of God if you could look down to the basic elements of what it is it would be the Word of God's right there looking back at you you understand well if words the Word of God created this world then the Word of God can move it around and do things to it so it really goes to this elemental part of your faith what you believe about the power of words answer this question do you believe that if God says something I mean he said it and he created it in the first place if he says something can that something that he says do something to the thing that he said it about it's how he made it in the first place this is how he does things he's the Holy Ghost he does things by speaking words success therefore in this life in this faith or in this faith life depends on what you believe about words and how good you are at believing the words you say come to pass mark 11 23 let's quickly read it we can quote it but let's not let's read it uh, mark 11 22 and Jesus answering saith unto them have faith in God or have the God kind of faith verse 23 for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say if the whosoever is saying something what is he saying he's saying words whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass what are the things that he saith 
the things he saith are words so you need to be one who believes the words you say come to pass but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith that's the God kind of faith do you suppose God does that yeah does he do you suppose you could do that you're a whosoever do you suppose you should do that no we shouldn't do that no we should do that believe the words you say come to pass you will have whatsoever you say that's the God kind of faith that's how God did it in the beginning when he began speaking things he believed they would come to pass and they came to pass that's how it all got here that's the world you live in that's the world that the Holy Ghost came into and it's the world you're in right now with the Holy Ghost so your success in life in walking with him will be your success in believing and walking in the words that you say question does this thing we talked about speaking words believing they come to pass does that apply to speaking in tongues their words right we're gonna get into what kind of words they are but those words that you're saying you should be be believing that they come to pass well see a lot of people don't understand what's really going on when they're speaking in tongues so they can't put any faith behind it you know they have a few little elemental things that a lot of other people have covered in the benefits of speaking in tongues but we're going I said we're going farther there's more to it than that it is the most appropriate way for you to speak in tongues is to believe the things you say come to pass but I don't know what I'm saying we're gonna be talking about tonight what you're actually saying and what's actually happening when you're speaking in other tongues I'm glad you came you ready for another question are there benefits to speaking words now we've already come so far that we should be able to answer this question yes there's benefits to speaking words you're in a world made out of words everything is made out of words and your, your success in life depends on how well you can speak words believe they come to pass and especially speaking in agreement with God are you here are the benefits to speaking words yeah sure are there benefits to speaking God's words even more so why because his word has the ability to bring itself to pass so if I can begin speaking his words whatever is in those words will begin to come to pass in my life so there are benefits to speaking words there are benefits to speaking God's word and how far does the benefit go if I'm speaking God's words it goes all the way to where that word said it would go and I find it fascinating we won't turn there but in Ephesians 3 20 it says he'll give you super abundantly beyond all that you can ask or think and so when you say how far will tongues speaking in tongues take you it will take you beyond what you can even ask or think and in some ways I think that might even be the point point. and I find that to be the case quite regularly when I don't know what to do about something what if I don't know what to do about it how am I gonna pray about it yeah I can confess scriptures but I really don't know what to do about it but I can pray in other tongues and he can begin speaking the end result the benefit of it and then all of a sudden it shows up and it, and it works out for me isn't that funny yeah well, that's hilarious no it's great because I he was able to speak beyond what I could ask or think are you getting this it's a benefit believe me so the benefits to speaking words there are benefits there are benefits to speaking God's Word do we have that settled yet now we need to decide whether we believe that when we're speaking in other tongues we're speaking God's words because we already said there's a benefit to speaking words we already said that there's a benefit to speaking God's words and those are just loaded with benefits if you had that you'd be you'd be good but now we're talking about a third a third thing do you believe that when you speak in other tongues you are speaking God's words because if you do you're speaking words 
full of all those benefits speaking God's words full of all those other benefits and beyond what you can ask or think is this making sense glory to God I love the word oh let's see Acts chapter 2 we'll go right to verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost Holy Ghost coming into the earth say Holy Ghost coming into the earth and began to speak so the first thing that the Holy Ghost did when he came into the earth was give people the ability to speak well they already they already were able to speak we're talking about a different kind of speaking here they began to speak with other tongues meaning not their known language as the Spirit gave them utterance this is something that no one had ever done before it's the genius that the Holy Ghost came up with I'm gonna come into the earth I'm gonna give them the ability to speak as I give them utterance can we see the mag the, the magnificent benefits that could come with this just knowing the power of words knowing the power of speaking God's words if you're speaking as he gives you utterance you're speaking his words and they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance so the utterance here would be words you see this so he they began to speak as he gave them words now they might they might sound like weird words say weird words I mean every language that you don't understand sounds a little weird and your language sounds weird to somebody else you ever had that oh your accents really thick I'm like I don't have an accent so they began to speak words as he gave them utterance so he's giving them an utterance and they are speaking it which means they're beginning to and you can get better at it you begin to speak his words as he gives you utterance you're speaking his words well anyway no one had ever done this before the speaking as he gave them utterance in unknown tongues now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep going here prophets know what it's like Old Testament prophets all the way up till this time knew what it was like to speak as he gave them utterance in a known tongue now what would the prophets have said in a known tongue well all of that all of the promises all of those things what what would be the good of that the good of it would be all of those things coming to pass and all of the other gifts of the Spirit have functioned in that you understand and they wrote it down but up until now no one was able to speak in other tongues as he gave them utterance beyond their understanding but the prophets spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost you can look that up that's 2nd Peter chapter 1 verse 21 but they began to speak as he see they began to speak as he well if I'm speaking as he who am I speaking as I'm speaking just like the Holy Ghost I'm speaking his language I'm speaking the way he says things well how does the Holy Ghost do things he does things by faith number one he believes things come to pass that he says he also does them by the gifts of the Spirit can you imagine the gifts of the Spirit are part of what the Holy Spirit does and so if you're speaking as he you will be speaking as the gifts of the Spirit how far could that go how far could all the gifts of the Spirit go and take you pretty far they began to speak as he gave them now it's amazing how many things you can get out of the word when you, you start looking at each and every word you, they began to speak as he gave them so if he if the Holy Ghost gave them what would that be a gift of the Holy Ghost so they began to speak as he gave them 
utterance what could what could possibly come to you through a gift of the Spirit that is causing you to speak things there's nothing that couldn't come to you through that gift it's why please listen it is why the Holy Ghost gave this to everybody he didn't just come and give you the word of wisdom or the word of knowledge or discerning of spirits or even the gifts of healings or the working of miracles let me make a little correction here because this is where we're going he actually did give you all those but he gave you everybody the ability to speak as he gives you utterance it's the first thing he gave everyone they were all filled and they all began to speak as he gave the reason is all the other gifts are literally embedded inside that there's a gift inside gift inside you know and the problem is a lot of people don't know it they get this wonderful ability to speak with other tongues is but they don't understand that in that gift are all the other gifts if you just open it up you have to begin unpacking it and even if you didn't even if you didn't know let's say a, a, a gift of uh, um, healings or discerning of spirits or any of the other things that might be an outward manifestation of that that we would classify as that gift the same benefits come through being to being able to speak as he gave is this making sense they're all in there so how would you like to have all of the gifts of the Spirit available to you I think that you would well I'm gonna show you how that speaking in tongues makes all of the gifts of the Spirit available to you whether whether you know the outward example of it or not speaking in tongues contains say contains all of the results well what would you rather have the outward show of that gift or would you rather just have the results the results of it is really what you're looking for go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 let's read verse 1 now concerning spiritual gifts or things pertaining to the spirit brethren I would not have you ignorant and the sad thing is, is a lot of people are completely ignorant of these things verse 8 this is where we begin to list them off here for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom to another the word now first of all before, before, here we know that the Holy Ghost gives everybody the ability to speak with other tongues he didn't go down and when he came in he gave he he divided it all these different gifts he gave them all the ability to speak with other tongues and then out of that came many of these other gifts you understand including the gift of speaking in other tongues here as a ministry gift let's read these off verse 8 for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit to another faith by the same Spirit to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit to another working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues and to another the interpretation of tongues there's nine gifts of the Spirit can we handle that all right what could you do with the nine gifts of the Spirit all nine gifts of the Spirit working in your life Ooh, I could rule the world well you could certainly rule your world and but where are those gifts of the Spirit coming from they all are worked by the Spirit the Holy Ghost who came in you who gave you the ability to speak with other tongues and they're all packaged in that let's start with the obvious because I want to go through all of these gifts of the Spirit and show you that they are literally embedded and operate and are already in your speaking in other tongues but let's just start with the obvious one uh, tongues is it possible that the gift of speaking in tongues would be in the gift of speaking in tongues yeah if I have tongues and interpretation of tongues it's very often equivalent to prophecy so if I could you know and there's variances in here 
if someone prophesies they will be saying certain things speaking th certain things into the world right tongues and interpretation would be equivalent to prophecy that's also included in speaking with other tongues does this make sense because I'm still I'm saying what God said in other tongues yeah I don't have the understanding of what I said yet but it still will do what the words were sent to do that's my point we still spoke words and they will still have the result you can prophesy yourself into anything I could prophesy myself into prosperity I could prophesy myself into health because I'm speaking words and I'm believing they come to pass even more so if I had an anointing to prophesy by the Spirit of God and say something that would come to pass but it's the same function I'm still speaking words and believing they come to pass it's still in the realm of speaking in agreement with God it's inside the ability to speak with other tongues speaking in tongues is often prophecy in an unknown unknown tongue does that make sense because I'm doing the same thing I'm speaking forth something I just don't know what it was I'm not trying to go in depth on any of these things I'm trying to show you that it's already in there if somebody prophesies and somebody says the same things in other tongues it will have the same result because I'm saying what God said so if I'm speaking in other tongues I'm speaking in other tongues yeah maybe I'll get an interpretation yeah maybe I'll get a prophecy but I don't have to because I'm already saying the thing so we're talking about results here we're talking about the results contained in let, let's say if there's healing in speaking in other tongues it would be the same result as if I had a gift of healing can you understand that that's what I'm talking about I'm not saying the mechanics aren't different but I'm saying the results are the same and it's already in there so we're talking about the results that are contained inside speaking in tongues speaking in tongues has tongues in it speaking in tongues has the interpretation in it speaking in tongues has the prophecy in it how about prophecy that speaks the future now everybody goes well that's prophecy well prophecy is speaking to men in a known tongue under edification exhortation and comfort look it up that's in your Bible that's what specific prophecy is but if that prophecy contained a word of wisdom the word of wisdom is something about the future so I could be prophesying to your edification and comfort and then all of a sudden say well this is gonna happen in the future well if I, if that word is embedded in that prophecy then it's a word of wisdom inside the gift of prophecy so what about prophecy that that speaks forth the future could that be in speaking in other tongues let's look at this go to Romans chapter 4 now remember if I'm speaking as he gives me utterance I've already qualified this I'm speaking words I'm speaking the Word of God his words right and I'm speaking in agreement with God so I should be believing the things I say come to pass even though I don't know what it is right verse 17 Romans chapter 4 verse 17 as it is written I have made thee a father of many nations before him or like him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were what would you call that he already said I have made you the father of many nations well before Abraham was the father of many nations that is a word of wisdom and then he says like God or like him or before him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls say and calls God calls things that be not as though they were if I'm speaking in other tongues is it possible that I would be calling things that be not as though they were 
if I'm speaking like God or I'm speaking his words like God who does this then embedded in speaking in tongues is the word of wisdom so we could check off tongues is involved in speaking in tongues interpretation of tongues is embedded in there check that off prophecy check that one off the word of wisdom we can check that one off it's in there are you seeing this so he calls those things that be not as though they were he calls for the highest he calls for the best he calls for the end results I've got news for you this is how God does it Romans chapter 4 verse 17 if you're speaking in agreement with God as he gives you utterance you will be calling for things that be not as though they were you'll be calling for the highest you'll be calling for the best you'll be calling the end result as though it were the word of wisdom is embedded in speaking in other tongues you should have more faith in speaking in tongues are you getting this so is the word of wisdom in there yes check I like to say the tongues of prosperity or tongues of the end result I know that when I speak in other tongues I'm speaking the end result how do I know that because God speaks the end result God calls those things that be not as though they were when I'm speaking in other tongues I'm calling things that be not as though they were you are speaking the future when you speak the future you're speaking a word of wisdom check it's in there how about the word of knowledge you think that's in there yeah that's in there talking about the benefits of speaking in other tongues oh I've never heard this before well welcome a lot of people haven't I never heard this from anybody before I got this by praying in other tongues you know there's messages in other tongues it's where I get all of my messages from I speak them out first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God right what would that be we're receiving the spirit of God we've not received the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things freely given to us of God that would be a word of knowledge does God give you a word of knowledge now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God yeah but how do you know that that knowing is is embedded in speaking in other tongues I read the next verse which things verse 13 which things also we speak what do you mean also we speak meaning he's speaking it we have to also speak it yeah but how do you know that it's in other tongues because I read the rest of the next verse which we also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but in words the Holy Ghost teaches what are the words the Holy Ghost teaches in other tongues the word of knowledge is embedded in speaking in other tongues and whether you have an outward manifestation of the word of knowledge oh or the outward manifestation of the word of wisdom oh it doesn't matter because you're still speaking it forth and you will still have the same results and most likely you will begin to have those outward manifestations of the gift of the Spirit of the gifts of the Spirit as you begin to yield in to speaking his words and his ways they'll begin to show up and say here I am but they're only showing up because they were already packaged inside you yielding your tongue to him on a daily basis we could cross that one out and you know we could go into these each and every one of these more in depth but that's not my point here I'm trying to simply bring you to the place to know that when the Holy Ghost gave you the ability to speak with other tongues he didn't just give you ability to yippity yap he gave the ability he he embedded in that all say all all of the gifts of the Spirit and it's really good news that we might know uh, which things also we speak 
not in words man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual verse 14 for the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for the foolishness unto them neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned and we'll just touch on this other gift of the Spirit here we just got through with the word of knowledge what about the discerning of spirits and that being connected to or embedded in speaking in other tongues natural man can't receive the things of the Spirit of God they are spiritually discerned when are they spiritually discerned after he was still talking about speaking in other tongues discerning of spirits is literally discerning things in the spirit realm embedded in speaking in other tongues all right discerning of spirits check word of knowledge check word of wisdom check tongues interpretation of tongues prophecy check 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 how about the gifts of healings you think that's embedded in speaking in other tongues well I don't know well just just take it from the outset I'll show you scripturally but just take it from what we know so far when I'm speaking in other tongues I'm speaking as he gives me utterance do you ever suppose that any of the words that he says would contain healing in them would those words contain prosperity in them would those words contain his will for you in them well I have scriptures that can show you that it's it's his will that you prosper and be in health so embedded in speaking in other tongues is the gift of healing are you getting this Ezekiel chapter 47 and verse 9 and it shall come to pass that everything that lives which moves whithersoever the rivers shall come say the rivers the rivers shall come shall live and there shall be a very great multitude of fish because these waters shall come thither mm. for they shall be healed and everything shall live whither the river cometh it says this river is going to heal and the river wherever it goes they will live meaning they weren't doing so well and then the river came and it healed them are you here let's go to John chapter 7 uh, verse 37 in the last day the great day of the feast Jesus stood and cried saying if any man drink and if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink he that believes on me as the scriptures have said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water yeah but how do you know those rivers are the same rivers and how do you know those rivers are the river of the Holy Ghost because I read the next verse 39 but this spake he of the Spirit which they that believe on him should receive be for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified when they did receive the Holy Ghost what did they begin to do speak with other tongues and it's a river that comes out of your belly and it flows and there you have scriptures that say that it contains healing power and if God gave you a healing we could certainly classify that as a gift of healing and where did it come from it came out of speaking in other tongues it's in there all those other gifts are in there and so is this one are you getting this so gifts of healings check that one's in there faith special faith a lot of times we'll call it special faith because it's not just regular faith you got you got regular faith then you got special faith that believes something special something higher you understand well we already read that one Jude let's see if it's in there verse 20 but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith he didn't just say build yourself up on your faith he said build yourself up on your the highest the most holy faith what praying in the Holy Ghost what is that speaking in other tongues praying in other tongues why would that be because you're speaking beyond what you even know and you're speaking God's words God's words contain faith and will bring themselves to pass so we're built up on our most holy faith where would that take you 
your most holy faith that'll take you all the way it will take you as far as you need to go well we left one out last but not least maybe the best I don't know I think they're all great you could almost argue that the best one is speaking in other tongues that's the one he gave you say that's the one he gave me be happy with it and use it and develop it and begin to walk into the new things of the Spirit as he opens up those things for you because they're all contained in there and he's not holding anything back from you well we left off working of miracles let's see what do you think you think that one's in there so before faith faith was eight working of miracles will be nine pretty sure it's in there brother I've never seen this before thank you you're welcome Romans 8 28 we're talking about now the working of miracles being embedded in speaking wouldn't that be good wouldn't that be great if we could have the actual function of the working of miracles embedded in speaking in other tongues because I can speak in other tongues I don't know how to work a miracle but I can I can speak in other tongues and if that's in there say if that's in there then then it's available to me in fact it's working when I work the speaking in other tongues say that it's working when I work the speaking in other tongues you're working a miracle so Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose we know that all things work together for good all things work together for good that's the working of miracles well that's just that means everybody that all, everything's working together for good no that's not what that means that's a religious interpretation of it but if you literally had all things working together for good for you that would be a working of miracles are you here it's right within the definition of what a working it's it worked together it's a working of miracles for good yeah but it doesn't say anything about speaking in tongues all right let's go back up to the verses before it go to verse 26 because in verse 27 28 it says we know this all things working together for good we know the working of miracles let's go back to verse 26 likewise the spirit also helps our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered or meaning you can't say them in your regular language so you're beginning to speak with him and he's speaking with you things that you couldn't utter before that's speaking in other tongues and then you get down to verse 28 and it says and you know all things working together for good how did you get to verse 28 but by going through verse 26 so all things work together for good that's the working of miracles that is in speaking in other tongues let's look at this just a little more closely verse 26 likewise the Spirit who would that be the Holy Ghost also helpeth our infirmities or our weaknesses or our inabilities or our lack so we can see now if I have weaknesses inability and lack I need to have a working of miracles to get me out of the weakness get me out of the lack get me out of the infirmity are you here and he says in verse 28 that we have a working of miracles so let's see how he helps out likewise the Spirit also helps our infirmities or weaknesses and lacks inability for we know not what we should pray for as we ought now I always ask this question if you knew how to pray for as you ought you wouldn't have a problem Luke 11 2 says when you pray say if I knew how to say for as I ought or in faith I wouldn't have a problem with the mountain I wouldn't have a problem with the sickness I wouldn't have a problem with the poverty I wouldn't have the problem with the sit situation but I don't know how to say for as I ought or with the with the power that I ought to say or the faith I have to, are you seeing this so 
he's going to help my inability to say for as I ought. Our infirmity is almost always the lack of ability to say for as we ought. If the Holy Ghost could look down from heaven and see people whose one main inability is the, the lack of ability to say for as they ought, what do you think he might do about it? He would come down into the earth and the first thing he would do is give you the ability to say for as you ought. The end result would be all things working together for good for you. The end result of you saying for as you ought in other tongues with the Holy Ghost is the working of miracles and everything working out together for good for you. Are you getting this? It's embedded in speaking in other tongues. And he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. How do we know we're speaking according to the will of God? This is just another confirmation of it. Because we're speaking God's word when we're speaking in other tongues, that would be the will of God. And then verse 28, and we know the power of all things working together for good. How did I get to the place of having the working of miracles operating was by saying in agreement speaking that which I could not speak which was my infirmity but now I've done it I've spoken it I've unwrapped that package but you need to learn how to unpack these things by speaking in other tongues I hope I got you there working in miracles we can put a check mark next to that all the gifts of the Spirit are embedded in speaking in other tongues and operate this is the genius of speaking in other tongues that the Holy Ghost gave to you and he gave to every one of us and it's full of benefits as many benefits as are available in all the gifts of the Spirit those same benefits are available and embedded in your ability to speak in other tongues let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you for these people that have heard this word and as they open their ears and let it sink down into them and then open their mouths and begin to speak as you give them utterance great things will begin to happen and take place all around them as if all the gifts of the Spirit were in full manifestation in their life develop that gift develop those languages for I've given them to you says the Spirit of the Lord to you the father in this is day in, in this hour we thank you for it holy ghost is right in jesus name amen holy ghost your god in the earth today.